I'm literally dabbing the sweat. The sweat! <gasps> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on a few products from the brand Kenra. Um, they do have a curl um, product line now and I definitely wanted to check it out. Um, this is in partnership with NaturallyCurly.com. However, this is not a sponsored video and these are my honest opinions. They were just kind enough to send over the products for me to test out. And I would not put out a video if I didn't believe 100% in the product. So um, I had a few weeks, I want to say a little over a month, to test these all out. And I will be going through each product um, one at a time. Please excuse my voice. Um, I'm just getting over a cold right now and I'm just struggling. I am in the struggle bus right now. But um, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. So, um, I will be going, I guess, in order of how I used the products. Um, first, this is the Kenra Curl Co-Wash Low Lather Cleanser. Now, um, this is not your typical shampoo, obviously. This is no sulfates, no parabens, and no sodium chloride. So this is definitely safe for all of you girls who are doing the Curly Girl Method. And um, it is a low lather, meaning barely any bubbles so you know don't be alarmed because a lot of shampoos obviously have lather um, the way you use this is you use it in place of your shampoo and it cleanses your hair I do like to incorporate co-washes on days where I feel like my hair just needs to take a break um, but I love this one the smell is so nice it's like it reminds me of like back 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 in the day when I used to straighten my hair and I would use this hairspray it's like a very like typical, I don't know, I can't, like a very nice hairspray kind of smell, but it's not hairspray obviously. It just, it's so pleasant, it just reminds me of like my old, old routine back in the day. I love that smell. Um, so yeah, I use this in a shower in place of my shampoo and because it's so conditioning and cleansing at the same time, I use this opportunity to um, comb out my hair with my wide tooth comb and detangle it. Usually on days where I do not use a co-wash, um, I detangle my hair during the conditioning process and I just shampoo my hair regularly but this kind of like kicks one of them out for me so it's a little bit quicker for me to use a co-wash so I really really love that um, so yeah so just make sure you start towards your roots and then work it down to your ends where everything is completely um, saturated and lathered and then next is the Kenra curl styling conditioner um, this is actually interesting this is a dual purpose conditioner Again, no sulfates, no parabens, no sodium chloride. Special about this though is that you can use this as a regular conditioner. So if you want to use it after the co-wash, you can. But you can also use this as a styling conditioner, which is really cool. Um, I love that it's a leave-in or a rinse out because that means it's actually a very conditioning formula. And like it says here for ringlets and curls and coils, excuse me, um, you can tell that it's super, super conditioning. I don't use it in the shower at all. I use this to style my hair. And this, in conjunction with the next product, the Kenra Curl Control Gel, um, Curl Styling Gel, new for ringlets and coils. This is what I use in conjunction with the styling conditioner. This has been my go-to styling products um, since I got it, actually. And the reason why I wanted to wait to do this video when I had done this to my hair three days ago is because you guys can see this is a third day hair. And yes, I'm not going to lie, there are some frizzy parts, but I mean, that's how I sleep. Like, there's no styling that I could do to my hair that could possibly make it perfect every single day as the days go on. But I love this combination. This is just, this is very reminiscent of a lot of other gels I've used, um, like smell-wise, texture-wise. But the, the cool thing about this is that it looks a little bit, like, mixed with, like, a milky texture. You guys can see that. Um, that milky, ooh, uh, uh, uh. Let's not make a mess, Brianna. Um, that milky texture works awesome um, with my hair, personally. And I have nowhere to put this, so I'm gonna put this in my hair. Just let that, soak that up, okay. And, oh, smells so good. Um, yeah, so both of these products do not smell the same, actually. This one smells a little bit different. Um, this was like a lighter version of the gel, but they both had like the same, it's like, I want to say citrus, like a citrusy background, but um, these have been my favorite combination, and again, they're for ringlets and coils, and I understand that because it's definitely penetrating and conditioning and holds my hair really, really well. Like, 
I have such tight curls that after a while it just looks like one big mess so I just have to take a shower and wash everything out and start again but this is I mean third or fourth day hair it's still lasting like pretty well and I don't mind going out in public <laughs> so that's a really big plus plus. and then um, the final part of my routine this is the Kenra curl refresher revitalizing conditioner um, and again this is a new product for them I have been using this as a deodorizer slash like revitalizing um, spray for my curls the only um, I do have two more products after this I want to talk about but the only con I have with this is that the spray is not as penetrating as I would like it's more of a mist um, again I have thick curls and a lot of hair as you can tell so I need spritzes that are extremely powerful so it could penetrate through my roots um, but with someone who doesn't have I have 3C hair if someone below um, like you know wavy all the way up to like 3B this would be perfect for them just because especially even if they have my hair but just less of it I think it'd be perfect for them I do love the smell I do love the product itself I just wish it was a little bit stronger in how it spreads out and I like that I can layer this it's not extremely um, thick or extremely conditioning to the point that you, if you layer it it like weighs your hair down it doesn't do that so I layer this to my desired effect and then I work it through like each coil that needs to be like done so like I'll probably put it here and then like let it dry and it'll go back to like how it was a couple days ago so I do like this my only um I guess complaint would be if I wish they had this spray with this like conditioning formula um, this is more universal for like all, all types of hair, whereas this one is very, very awesome for ringlets and coils. I would love to see this conditioning formula, like deeply conditioning formula in a spray version. That would be awesome because I would incorporate that in my styling as well. And I would put that first, then this, then the gel. And I feel like that would make my hair last even longer. So I wish Kenra would come out with a spray version of that conditioner and then use this on my um, second, third, and fourth day hair, which would be awesome. And the other two products that I was um, privy to, this is the Kenra Curl High Hold Spray Gel Curl Setting Spray for waves and spirals. And again, this is the Kenra Curl Defining Cream, Curl Enhancing Cream um, for waves and spirals as well. I liked both of these products. And it's the same kind of um, situation I have with the curl refresher. Um, this is, the product itself is super light and refreshing, I love it. But then these two are also kind of light and refreshing. They don't um, overly hold your, like, make it crunch or anything like that. It's light, it's very nice. But again, I do have a lot of hair, so I feel like I would go through both of these um, super quick. So I would have liked, um, again, this is for waves and spirals, so I get that. It's not for the coils. But I think this would work perfect, like if you do pick this up and you have my hair, this would work perfect for those days where you just want light um, conditioning and you don't want to style your hair, you want to like put it in a protective style. That's how I use both of these. So I would um, use the curl defining cream and um, then I would use the curl high hold spray gel. So like for example, if I want to do um, a protective style like French braids, I would put this one in um, as like I'm um, doing braiding my hair and then this one as it finishes and I feel like this together would hold my protective style for a longer period of time after I wake up and I could probably use it to go out the next day so I love that about these two um, however they don't work as well on my hair as the um, the ringlets and coils versions, versions of them but I think this will work perfect for those of you who do have waves and spirals. So anything up to 3B type hair, I think this would work perfect and it would feel the exact same way I would feel about the other two products. But I did find a way to incorporate them into my um, curly routine, so I am very happy about that. Overall, I had a great experience testing out these products. Like I said, um, these two are my absolute favorite and they, have, they will definitely be um, incorporated into my routine like for life I like them so much and I'm definitely gonna take them with me when I travel because I did I haven't had such a high hold um, in a long time with a lot of my curling products and that is it for my video thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be an exciting one because I'm finally doing a giveaway I haven't done one in so long